Hey, how's it going? My name is Spy and welcome to another Scrap Mechanic episode. Now this episode is going to be a little different. I'm going to be showcasing off of one of the things I've been working on for quite a while now. And as you guys can see, it is a little base here. It's like an old factory turned into a survival shelter or a safe house, which is pretty cool. Now, I've been working on this for quite a while. And I actually haven't completed it just yet, but I think it's good enough to show on the channel. One of the things I need to do is actually build a vehicle for this garage here. Now this garage is pretty small, so I'm not going to be able to get anything too big in there. But anyways, if you guys want to try this map out yourself, go ahead and download it in the description and play it and see how you guys like it. There's a lot of things I still got to fix on it, and there's uh, a few things I got to color on here. I probably missed some stuff. And I also didn't make the doors double sided for the buttons because I'm trying to conserve on performance until I get my better graphics card which should be coming in pretty soon. I ordered a new graphics card, the GTX 1070, the Asus Strix which is pretty sweet looking. So that should help a lot with the future videos. We should be able to max out our settings with that graphics card, make the game look a lot better. But I'm going to be playing with the shadows off on this um, video so that you guys can see the full effect of the color inside even though it's still pretty bright. Anyways, let's begin. We're going to go on in and there's a big door here that says do not enter. We're going to walk right in. We're going to close the door behind us. And right here, there's two little hatches here. You can peek out and see who's there. Pretty sweet. Now this shelter or this little uh, safe house would be really sweet in survival mode when it comes out. But I, I don't know how it's going to work. If the farm bots can destroy the bases, um, then that would kind of suck because this, this place is pretty vulnerable. Really thin, thin walls. Over here we have some plants with some pipes to water the plants. And over here we have a little entertainment area. It looks like it's been set up after. Now, I don't know if this building is kind of like an old factory, but I kind of tried going with the theme that it was an old factory because it looks pretty nice. So we got a, a TV here with a couch and um, a console. I don't know what console that is. You guys can decide. And then up here, we have a farm bot trophy head. It <laughs> It's kind of weird, but it kind of suits the place, actually. And um, up here, we got some storage. Storage there as well. Some random plants. And behind this wall here, that is our little workshop and our garage area. Now, it's pretty small like I said, but it's pretty cool looking actually. Now, it took me a while to design this little room here. I added some really cool decals and words, just spy and core right here. And it took me a while to actually design the door. The door took me a while because it was very finicky, because it doesn't bend at the joints like a normal garage door would. We're going to open it up here and we're going to see. So it just slides up onto these railings here. And it actually works pretty good. And then it goes back down and it's going to kind of lock into place. Like that. There we go. And then back here we have our little service area where all our controllers are. We got some really big clocks here. Um, I designed these clocks myself. I'm not sure how they're supposed to be designed until the actual logic gates come out, which should be in August. I'm not sure when, but they are going to save on space when they do come out, which will be nice because these things are very bulky and ugly. And we got our all our controllers for all the devices inside the base. There's quite a bit. We're going to actually use our <laughs> wire gun here to see the webbing. Look at that. That's crazy. That's a lot of stuff. It's not that complicated, though. But anyways, over here, we have this big generator, this big power generator. It's pretty sweet. We're going to turn it on and it's going to spin up and it actually turns the music on, which is pretty awesome. I like that. Now, too bad there's no power in the game yet. Maybe in survival mode. Hopefully, we're going to turn that off now. It's kind of annoying. Then over here, we have our little table for preparing food and such. It's in a weird place, I know, but we didn't have much room. Then over here, we have our bedroom. We're going to open it up. Now, this is out of the place, I know. you don't. I don't think there would be a bedroom in it, just in a random factory like this. Unless it's like the boss's room. But I don't see the point in that. But anyways, here's our bedroom. <laughs> we have a little window here that opens up and closes for privacy. 
And then over here, we have our little closet. Pretty comfy. Pretty comfy. But that's not all that's in this closet. There is actually a secret in this closet. Now, if you look around the room, you might find it. But we're just going to go straight to it. It's right behind the dresser here. We're going to open that up. And it's going to open a little hatch here. And inside, there is a little storage room for all our ducks. Ah, that's a lot of ducks. <laughs> so we're going to close that and we're going to head back out to the lobby. We also have this really nice painting here. I, I don't know why it's here, but I kind of think it helps with the environment. Makes it look a little less dull, <laughs> even though it's all gray because I kind of tried to make it look like a factory. Anyways, up here we have a little elevator. This is like a little murder hole where a sniper can sit or a machine gunner or something to defend the base. But there's also an elevator here. Takes us up to the second level of the perch. There's also a sniper rifle here. Some ammo boxes. And uh, yeah, there's not much view here, but if someone's coming up the hill, then I guess, I guess you could take shots at them. We're going to go back down. Okay, now we're just going to head up to the second level of this place. We got some more growing areas for our plants. Washing stations on both sides. Some water pipes. I like this. It looks pretty, it looks pretty good. It kind of fits the um, nature of the building. And then back here, we have a bathroom. The only bathroom in the building. Now, I don't think this is completely set up yet, but there's our shower. I'm going to actually fix that. And we're going to head back here. And back here, this is our armory. Now, I had my friend Ryan help me with this gun here. This is like the mini nuke launcher from Fallout, but it's not. I guess it just shoots... It shoots that. Uh, it shoots a light at you. <laughs> and then up here, we got a big turret thing. Some sniper rifles, a pipe rifle or something. And then we have this big... Gat, uh, big rusty Gatling gun thing. Looks pretty good. I like it. I'm, I'm not the best at designing weapons, but I really like that one. Okay. And if we look outside at the third level, I guess this is the third level, we'll have these two turrets here. Now, this switch in here, right here, actually turns them on. Now, they're kind of finicky as well. They'll sometimes spaz out and decide which way they want to turn. But they kind of, um... They kind of just uh, watch the area and make sure there's nothing around. Too bad they don't actually shoot anything though. Okay, and I don't know why this is here. I'm going to remove that. And then up here, we have the top of our sniper perch. There's a few turrets in here to defend the base from three directions. Yeah, I think that would work really well actually. These turrets could use improvement, but I'm not sure how I could make them and fit them in these windows at the same time. Anyways, we're just going to head up to the next level. This is more of the roof of the building. We got like a uh, air filtration unit here or uh, air conditioning unit. Then we got some big smokestacks here and windows looking down into the lobby. And we're going to head back down because there's one last thing I want to show you guys. Now, it's pretty hard to find. If you're playing this without watching this video, I don't think you would really find it. But underneath this little um, step here, there's some boxes. And it looks like there's a wall here, but there actually is a secret entrance. Now we're going to hold this button here. Hold it for a few seconds. And it'll open up this door here. And this door will automatically close. That's what the timers down there are for. And down here, we will have a little bug out room. Just in case the base gets invaded. I don't think it would be really safe from robots, so they'd probably find you and murder your, murder your face, because that's usually how it works. <laughs> Anyways, we got a set of ducks here. Just random ducks, a toilet, a sink, and some food probably in those boxes. I'm not sure. Anyways, this is the escape exit from the base if you are getting invaded. You hold this for a few seconds as well. It opens up. You run out. And it will close, and it looks like it's pretty well hidden. So that's pretty much it for this base. If you guys have any suggestions on how I can improve it, please let me know. I really like the color scheme though. It looks really dull, but it fits the um, theme. I might add a vehicle, maybe a post-apocalyptic vehicle. 
not quite sure but you guys can download the map yourselves in the description and see how it is now if you have any of your own um, viewer creations you want to send to me send them to this email address on the screen and hopefully it will get them in a video as long as they are unique and awesome and that you built them yourself but anyways that's pretty much it so thank you guys for watching and subscribing and remember stay sweet bye Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god, where's the button?